together, not to clench. Just bite together so his teeth are touching. Okay? Okay, so I go to buckle. And I'm gonna go straight to the cream. Stay biting now. Stay biting now. Okay, good. Okay. And each side, I do the premolar of each side. Okay? What if they are missing? Sorry? What if the premolars are missing? Whatever teeth are in the equilibrium point of the arm. No so need to uh, bite in front of the teeth. No, I always do the, uh, the equilibrium. If missing. If missing, then you put, I to do the wax rim and you can do the bite that way. You need to have the bottles. So I the always do both sides. Okay? Then we send. Okay, so now the model is articulating. Thank you. Uh -huh. ah. yeah. So we will use this for. Uh, is it advisable to tell the patient that to try to swallow while he's closing before recording the bite? You can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just when they bite together, this is a swallowing position, and normally when they are biting, they start swallowing anyway. Yeah. So I don't ask them to f think about swallowing. They will automatically swallow because when you put all this in the mouth, they start producing more saliva. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they start automatically swallowing. You will see that you are, your oh, mouth yeah. is filling full of water. Yeah, yes, because your mouth is thinking, is this food? Am I going to be fed? This is what the psychological, as soon as you put anything to the mouth, you start producing saliva because the brain is thinking, oh, you're going to eat, you're going to feed me. Is this the lateral movement? No, so it does in the articulation, it will show some lateral movement. Okay, but I will explain lateral and the problems in lateral movement when we talk uh, a bit more. But what this will show you is that I can actually go to the articulation uh, stage. So this is the upper model, okay? Did you notice that the, the contacts have changed now? Yes, they're different. Yeah. They're different now. You see, that is the, this is the issue. They're not the same as they were on the previous one. This is why I do not trust. What we do, we can see here from an uh, articulation perspective, we just, we go to the articulation part and what it is doing now is putting the models together. Automatically do that. Yes. Yes, it does automatically, yeah. Okay, now you have your? Yes. Now you see here, what does he have here? Broken. Yeah. Yes. And so I, you will prefer to chew on your? This side? Yes, you prefer to chew on the left side, but I will check that myself. But if you look here anyway, okay? Oh so yeah, I have uh, more pain, like or a slight click in this uh, area. Yeah. So if we look here um, now, I can move the <coughs> jaw, okay? So you see here now, this is just showing you. Uh, okay. So you see here now, I can move the. Okay. See, we are using the articulation. If you want, you just click this and it does it for you. There's protrusion, there's lateral excursion, left and right. Okay. But this is not how the patient. Yes, it's not according to the patient. It's according to the paramedics. To the paramedics. Oh, to the paramedics. 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 To the this and gives you record, say, module. Yeah. module, like the one we saw in the yes. video. The module is the only one that will record the true motion of the mm -hmm. Our three shape uh, scanner. Three, three shape is like the same as this. It is the same. But, uh, uh, but uh, there is they don't have this. Uh, they have, they have, yes, but they are still using the articulated parameters. Because you are not giving okay. them the and data of how they move the jaw. Yeah, so okay, so this is exactly like this articulation animation is exactly what Free Shape are doing. Unless you give them the data of how they move their jaw Mod with Mod Jaw or SDI Matrix or other tools, Dean Cardiacs and these things, you cannot replicate the patient accurately. This is just a educated guess. So it gives you an idea, and that's what you're getting. You're not getting the true representation. The true what? I'm sorry. You do not get the true representation because the patient is here. Mm -hmm. So I will always look in the mouth and check that myself. Mm -hmm. It's true. Hmm? I, uh, this is my movement. 
And uh, he had the weakness at the canine. Yeah, because you grind against the, uh, the canine. Uh, yeah. But yes, when you, you move, like, do you want to? If you see uh, here, it, it's better if we uh, speak yes, to yeah. the whole group outside. Okay. Okay. But everybody's seen it anyway. Yes. Yeah. You see the welfare set on your side. Yeah. On your. I have a little guidance here also. It's your lateral guidance is off your. You see here when you move to the when you move to this side now when you move to the right you'll see that your guidance will come as well off mm -hmm. the later mm -hmm. off there and the canine. So, so it's better to uh, remove it. Uh, either that or you orthodontically push it into the thing. You have to open the bite a little bit and push one in and push the other one. Okay, let's move.